Viaget's traditional kente wedding garments are one of several items in the London exhibition sourced from a public call-out for objects, photographs and clothes that represent personal artefacts and memories of the continent. Kofi Anza is an extraordinary designer. He was an extraordinary man and he passed away before I think the world got to see how extraordinary he was. I'm thankful that I could have a piece, that I commissioned a piece that can be shared and that his legacy can live on alongside the Kofi Anza Foundation. It's important to share traditions and yes, it was a very personal day, but it was important to me for other, particularly black and brown kids, to see you can wear, on your special day, you can wear your own tradition. You can wear something that speaks to who you are and not to a international ideal of what that day might be or what, that, what beauty is. What is your beauty? What is your heritage? And so I'm excited to share that. The V&A honour the late Kofi Ansar with a showcase featuring the designer's garments in the vanguard section of the exhibition. So Kofi Ansar is known as the person that propelled Ghana onto the international fashion stage. Studied at Chelsea Art School, created his first collections whilst working for other people in London, really kind of finessing his skill, but all the while knowing that he wanted to go back to Accra to have his own brand. You know, and I remember speaking to one of his sons, Ryan Answer, and Ryan said that he remembers his father's work being that piece that would get you noticed at a party, that it would be unforgettable. But of course it meant you could probably only wear the thing once, yeah, you know, because <laughs> it's unforgettable. He was renowned as the enfant terrible Ghanaian fashion, wasn't he? Yes, yes. Why was right. that? Well, I think because he did the, he wasn't frightened of doing the unusual and really sort of pushing boundaries. So, I mean, I love this piece in Kente, but of course it wasn't the thing to do to tailor Kente when he was working. So he's seen as one of the first people to tailor and cut and make a garment from Kente. Traditionally, of course, it would have been wrapped. And in this period, it would have been wrapped. The other thing that I love is apparently he made a pair of jeans in Kente, which must have been scandalous then, because you're not supposed to do it. Kente originally, it's the fabric of the aristocracy. 